Hello, welcome to Calculus. I'm Quillen, and today we are going to be continuing our discussion of the graphical implications and functions, or er, not functions, qualities is a better word, probably. The graphical qualities of limits. Today, specifically, we're going to be talking about the one-sided or one-handed limit. First, let's go through a little review of limit notation. So, the standard limit notation looks like this. You have the word lim, and then an independent or input variable, I'm going to call it x, approaching some number that I'm going to call n of some function f of x. And all of these can be changed around. The only stipulation is that n is a constant real number. And this is not, this right here is not truly proper notation, but it is sufficient for comprehension. Um, an edge case is that n can equal two specific other non-real number values, but we will get to that later. Now, one-handed or one-sided limits deal with a variation on the standard limit. The notation for that, I'll jump right into notation. The notation for that takes two different forms. It can either be a minus sign for a left-hand limit or a plus sign for a right-hand limit. Sorry, I'm back. I just had to check on something. Anyways, so for example, let's say we want the regular limit as x goes to 0 of x e of the function x. Well, that's of course just going to be 0 because as x goes to 0, x is going to approach 0. This should be an equal sign right here, not an arrow. My bad. And if you think about the line y equals x, which is what this here represents, it on one side approaches 0 from above, and on the other side approaches 0 from below. So it looks sort of like that, and it is approaching this 0 point right here from both sides, which means that this whole, one moment, this whole segment right here is equal to this, which is equal to this. And for lots and lots of functions, that is going to be the case. So if you are worried because your left hand limit and your right hand limit are the same and they're the same as your regular limit, that's completely fine. In fact, if you'll think back, I made a point of stating that limits are only real normal limits, the kind that we talked about yesterday if they approach the same value from both sides. So just give me one second to write something down and I will talk some more about what that implies. There, right here, 
is your important fact that I paused to write. The limit as x approaches n of f of x exists if and only if, which is what this arrows equally sign means, if and only if the left-handed limit as x approaches n of f of x equals the right-handed limit of x of f of x as x approaches n. This also means that this right here, let me get this, this section right here and this section right here equaling each other also means that this section right here will equal both of these guys over here. So there is a little note that you can make. Let's pause, move to Desmos, and just do some examples thinking about left and right-handed limits. All right, I'm back and I have drawn some graphs on Desmos. First, let's look at this red graph. So if you'll notice, it is continuous from negative infinity to two and from two to positive infinity, but there is a discontinuity right here. And a discontinuity, in case you don't know, is just any time where the graph is not continuous. So if there's a hole, a jump, or a gap, or an asymptote. So first, calculate, I'm gonna use my yellow pen for this, calculate or rather estimate the limit as x approaches negative 6 of this red graph. Well, looking, it seems like it's getting really, really close on both sides to positive 1. So that means our first answer is going to be positive 1. Next, find the limit of this x approaches positive 2. Well, from the left side, the left-hand limit is clearly 0. But the right-hand limit looks to be about 4.25, maybe 4.2. It is very clearly different up here than it is down here. And so we can conclude that this next limit does not exist. And in case you didn't watch the last video, does not exist is for any limit that is not a number. So what if I just wanted you to calculate the right-hand limit though? Well, the right-hand limit, I will use green to talk about this, the right-handed limit would be right here. And you can tell it's getting close to, what did I say, 4.2? So that means that answer would be 4.2. And remember, the way you know it's a right-handed limit is that your two, say you have limit notation all right here. The two will have a little positive sign beside it. So the right-handed limit of this red graph as x approaches 2 is 4.2. What about the left-handed limit? Let's use purple for that. The left-handed limit down here is 0. And so same thing, but a little negative sign up there. It almost looks like an exponent. That means that it's going to be equal to 0. I hope that, that makes some sense. Now, let's talk about this blue. You'll notice that up here, there's a little corner, but that actually doesn't matter when we're talking about limits. You can still see the value that it's approaching, even if there is a weird corner. So then find the left and right handed limits of this blue graph as x approaches 
zero. Well, that's going to be right here at the origin because both sides come at zero and they meet at zero. So that means this answer is going to be zero for both of them, right? And that also means that since these two are equal, they will also equal our standard limit. So zero for all three. Now finally, this pink graph. Find the approximate, rather estimate, is probably the best word, the limit of this pink graph as x approaches 2. Well, looking at it, draw a line at 2. Coming from the left, tracing, 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 it's meeting at about negative 4.5. That's where it's meeting this vertical line we drew. Coming from the right, it's also meeting that, excuse me, that vertical line at about y equals negative 4.5, which means, again, these limits are equal to each other at negative 4.5, which means the answer overall is going to be negative 4.5. I hope all of this made sense, and I hope that you have found it helpful. This is Quillen signing off.